On ordinary roads all over the world, something extraordinary is starting to happen. History being made on the highway, as each day, someone new gets to do this. Driverless cars are coming, and they're set to change the way we drive, the way we live, and the way we move. It's a transformation that brings great opportunities, but also huge challenges. And the FIA is with you on this new, exciting journey. A driverless future promises to make scenes like this a thing of the past, but its biggest benefit is safety. 1.25 million people are killed in road accidents globally each year, and 90% of accidents are caused by human error. Intelligent vehicles won't be distracted, drunk or poorly trained. In other words, autonomous technologies have a huge potential to eliminate human errors that dramatically result in thousands of lives lost in crashes every year. This isn't lost on the manufacturers developing automation. Our basic aim is uh, to reduce accidents. It will divide by a factor of 10 times or even 50 times the number of accidents compared to today. Autonomous and driverless cars also hold the potential to reinvent the entire driving experience. Sooner or later the driver will also be allowed to take his hands off the steering wheel um, and then maybe turn away and do other things while driving. The whole point of it is that you can do a long journey and you can arrive less tired and more refreshed than you would be if it was just your, your eyes on the road. It'll drop you off. It doesn't have to be parked. It'll disappear. It maybe goes and does your shopping, picks up your laundry, or maybe somebody else uses it. But that's efficiency that makes our lives truly better. Not only does driverless promise a safer future, it could also transform our towns and cities. If people aren't bringing their car into central London, that 16% of land that's dedicated to parking might not be necessary in the future. So just think what we could do with that land. You could return it to parkland, you could build more houses. The impacts on society are pretty huge. And I think driverless cars will uh, allow cities to actually reach more of their potential. The judgments that it will be able to make in terms of the geometries of the city will be far more certain and more accurate than a lot of drivers. So it will be able to go around really tight corners. That helps urban geometry. But creating a world of smart green cities brings huge hurdles which car manufacturers, governments and regulators are only just beginning to face. Very important, like with any technology, is regulations. Regulations are always guiding forces that tell OEMs which direction to go and how consumers are likely to adopt this. Regulations need to be changed and we need to have support to do that in Europe, in US and in Asia. Both Britain and America have published guidelines for real-world driverless testing. Now countries are adopting their legal frameworks to allow for the safe introduction of automated features. Getting the regulatory environment right, ensuring that there is as far as possible an international standard, is a fundamental part of the process. Advanced vehicle technologies including sensors, cameras and guidance systems are becoming a key part of the testing process and improving safety. The vehicle manufacturers themselves have to transition today from a hardware company to a software company. The FIA is convinced that testing should be a core element of any strategy for automation. It's a vision shared by manufacturers testing around the world from Volvo in Sweden. The pilots in Gothenburg will start in 2017 and we will put up to 100 cars in the hand of the customer. To Audi's tests in Germany. On the German A9, we are doing a lot of tests uh, with different drivers, always having a specialist on the passenger side. Well, these technologies uh, have to be proven in the real world. That's absolutely fundamental. There has to be a trial process. They have to be uh, trialed and proven uh, in the real-world context. It might seem that developed countries will transition to driverless before anyone else, but don't be so sure. Countries with less infrastructure are in a position to change fast. I think in terms of driverless cars in developing countries, they have that advantage that they can experiment, they can go out there and do things. You will see uh, a pickup that's quicker in those places. Full automation could take decades to become widespread, but the technology that makes it possible is already being used by drivers today. 
The change is coming quickly. As we observe self-driving cars tested on real roads, we do realize that a technological miracle of today can soon become a reality of tomorrow. It will be a revolution, not just for drivers and traffic patterns, but also for the transportation industry as a whole.